Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Today we're talking about uh, Carolina fishing, in other words, bass fishing. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications of upcoming videos. Guys, don't forget that, eh? Very important. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. And once again, I'm talking about Carolina rigging. For Carolina rig, it's very simple. What we require? Sinkers, whether it be a worm sinker, a Carolina sinker, or your standard mojo sinker. Mojo sinker is designed for weeds, so it slides through weeds quite easily, hence that sinker, as well as your standard worm sinker. Does exactly the same thing. Okay, we require a bead, whether it be a glass bead or a plastic bead, that's up to you. Power swivel, there we go, Kingfisher power swivel, works extremely well. Fluorocarbon, we do these little pony spools, they are absolutely ideal for bass fishing. Comes in 20, 25 meter rolls, they're not too big, not too bulky, so they don't take up a lot of space in your tackle box. And again, it goes from 1 kilo all the way through to 15 kilos, it's up to you. It is fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon is ideal for uh, the brazen resistance on the teeth of the bass. Um, a couple of soft plastics, a pair of scissors, and then again the hooks. Uh, we've got the ultra lock here, which I'll show you how that one works, and then we've got the KVD uh, pin grip hook over here. So let's just quickly show you how the trace for this actually works. Take your nylon from your rod, any one, I'll just use the mojo sinker, go straight through it. We then put on our glass or bead, our glass bead. We use a um, Palama knot, being one of the strongest knots for bass fishing. And how we tie it is you double your nylon, Take your swivel, go through the eye of the swivel, tie an overhand granny knot like so, grab it, take your finger through and pull that tight. There we go. And don't forget, at the bottom of our videos, you'll always find a link to our knot tying. So you just uh, what's name on it and you can see how to tie the knot slowly and easily okay don't forget at the bottom of our screen okay now fluorocarbon I'm just gonna take any one this one is easy to see it's abrasive resistance it's soft and the reason we use it is it sits nicely on the on the, the bottom okay give yourself about Anything from 60 to a meter long, it's up to you. And again, how we tie it is we basically just go through the eye and we tie a figure of eight knot. One, two, three. Back through. There we go. Lubricate, slide down, pull tight. Okay, so what we're using is a... Um, Mustard offset worm. It's a long thin hook. Let's grab it here quickly. Thin profile, it'll slide through the grass very easily or over the stumps. Fishing in heavy vegetation, it's a very thin profile um, uh, worm. And again, don't forget to have a look at the bottom. If you want to see how we tie our knots, you'll see at the bottom there's a little link to knot tying. Okay, figure of eight. I'm just going to take one of our reaction soft plastics again. Lovely worms. Okay, how we rig it is basically go through the eye until the bend. When we get to the bend, we pull, pull it off, slide it all the way around until we get to the, the Z-lock part of it. The Z-lock is there to actually hold it in place, okay? 
The next part of it is to lay it next to the actual hook and where the bend is. So in other words, that part of it there is where I want to go through the actual worm. So I'm going to go straight through and straight out. There we go. And then all I do is I just take my fingers so that it's skin hooked. Okay, the hook doesn't go through. There we go. And that, guys, is as quick and easy as it is to do a Carolina rig. Thin profile will slide through the grass or weeds a lot easier. Obviously, you'll have a noise or a knocking over there, so there's a noise uh, being given off. That bead is there to protect the knot. So whether you're using a silicon bead or a glass bead and a tungsten weight or a lead weight, it's up to you. And the distance that you make it is also important. If you've got a very silty bottom, in other words, a very muddy bottom, the sinker will go into it, but the worm will float up, especially these reaction worms, they're designed to float. So it'll float up just above the actual silt line. Um, obviously, if it's a harder bottom, you'll use the other reaction worms, okay, which will lie on the bottom as a creature bait or whatever it might be. And it'll lie on the bottom and it'll move along the bottom. Um, so if it's a very hard bottom, you keep it quite short, 20 centimeters or longer, it's up to you. And if it's a very silty bottom, you'll make it a lot longer. Okay, guys, Carolina Rig 101, very quick, very easy.